Tabor Talk, so just a little bit of creative between my cheek and gum, and I use this. I've talked about this a bunch. I've actually done a couple of videos. This stuff saved my life. Kratom, and uh, I also use CBD oil. Okay, so getting right into this, the RNC is over. It was absolutely horrendous. Trump's speech, oh, he spoke for 70 minutes. Now, here's just a little piece of it. I'm not going to stream it down. I'll just show you this. I'm sure. Here we go. Proud of the extraordinary progress, progress. we've made together over the last Never. four incredible years. Four incredible and with confidence years. in the bright future, bright we will build future. for America. How is that fucking guy president? <laughs> I mean, I did a video last week when... Tim Dillon was on Joe Rogan. Tim Dillon said something I totally disagree. He said, Trump is hypnotic. Like, I end up, hey, I want to watch just maybe five minutes. I end up, you know, watching the whole 60 minute, whatever it is. I'm just the opposite. I've never watched a complete press conference briefing. I can't take him for more than 30 seconds. What I do is I get the recaps from, like, uh, the Young Turks or David Pakman show, Brian Tyler Cohen, whatever. I watch clips. I can't handle that guy. Like... Here's another thing. This guy's president of the United States. Like, how does he even have a job? I mean, would you hire a guy like this? For the next four the, years. For the next four years. And this is how he reads. So he's much better without the teleprompter, even though that's shit. But when he, he reads at a third grade level, I've done several videos. Trump has a learning disability. He can't read. In fact, here's another thing. Trump has never read... A book in his entire adult life. Probably never. He's never read a book. The guy's the president of the United States. What? All right. So how did this guy, I'm not just talking president. Like, how did he get a job? I used to be a recruiter, right? I did this my whole career. I actually worked in the biotech and pharmaceutical um, industries. I placed um, clinical research people, salesmen. If I interviewed Trump, for a $50,000 job, like horrible communication skills, not too bright. Um, it's just, it just amazes me. How did this guy, all right, so, so let me go back. So he, you see him and he looks down, like, like he doesn't know how to read, all right? So here's a public speaker who's awful, like the worst I've ever seen. In I boom, here's a teleprompter. Then he turns this way. It's like a third grader struggling. Like if he were in grade school, he would be in those slow classes. The R, and I'm not going to say that word, the R word, but very slow. He would be in those stupid classes. Not to be mean here, but those special ed. So the question is, what I think is so incredible, here's a guy, I find it amazing that he even got a fucking job, like, right? He's horrible at everything. How did he become like, like this Trump? Remember in the 80s and 90s, they thought he was this hot shot real estate developer? It was all a fucking scam. That's the amazing thing. Someone who can't read. Really, a third grade level. Here, let's play a little bit more, you know? How did he become like the, you this know, uh, no, there's a commercial, forget about it. You know, uh, Trump with his name on, on planes and buildings, becoming president of the United States. He's a fucking, I'm not going to say the R word, dumb dumb. Could someone explain this to me? All right. Good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. And the kratom is all over my mouth. I know people are going to come back to me. Like the, the, the deplorables, like, oh, you're calling us white trash. Look at your teeth. That's fine. All right. Peace. <laughs>